Oh shit, that's right. If you see this background, you know what it's time. It is time for another creepy type of pasta video or more of a reaction video really. But that is right guys, it is me, the Angel Man. That's right, I'm here today to give you guys another video. So today I'm here to go ahead and do a reaction video to some creepy pasta shorts. I am on the YouTube channel called Conspiracy Vibes. It is a great channel for a bunch of shorts with a bunch of conspiracy theories and stuff if you're into that. I myself, in general, am a conspiracy theorist, guys. I love watching this type of stuff, kind of understanding what it is that people kind of speculate, what is it that people have figured out, what could be going on out there in the background, and that's something that's honestly really interesting to me. Before, I used to be really into creepy pastas, but then I was watching that a little too much, and then I was kind of like, all right, this is getting a little, I'm, I'm kind of having some dark thoughts. I don't like what the fuck is going on here. <laughs> so, kind of laid all that, and then luckily, this new thing with conspiracy theory started coming up, and I was like, you know what? I love conspiracy theories a lot better. It's less creepier, but it's more realistic. It's more on trying to discover the truth of things that are going on. And that's kind of what I like. So, well, that's Siddlerverse. I was giving you guys a little introduction of that. Let's get to it. Before we can get into watching conspiracy theory videos, right, we also need to understand exactly what is a conspiracy theory. So here we go. Basically, so a conspiracy theory is a belief that some covert but influential organization is responsible for a circumstance or event. They sought to account for the attacks in terms of a conspiracy theory. Basically, it's a cover up. Basically, there's things happening out there that either our government or governments in general are basically hiding to protect, protect the public. That's basically what a conspiracy theory is. And because obviously since they think that we're idiots and when we're clearly not, sometimes <laughs> we're obviously here trying to basically discover and solve what the hell is it that the government is hiding honestly i kind of don't blame them sometimes this is just my opinion i don't necessarily blame them for doing what they do because people do act pretty dumb come on now we live in strange times right people are getting weirder by the second but with that said though i'm gonna watch some conspiracy theory videos guys kind of let you guys know my thoughts and see what it is that people have tried to figure out or what it is that people are speculating so with that said let's get to it Okay, so our first video, debunking conspiracy about the moon landing. The moon landing? Okay. If you think the moon landing was faked, you just want attention. It took nearly <laughs> half a million people to build the Saturn V rocket and the lunar module. Do you think they all lied until their graves? You don't think one person would have snitched by now? Oh, but like his boots don't match the footprint on the moon. Yeah, it's literally called an overshoe. It was part of the spacesuit. It's really not that hard to understand. Oh, uh, okay. Why is the flag waving? There's no atmosphere. It doesn't make any sense. Do you think NASA doesn't understand gravity? They installed a metal rod to hold up the flag, but it got jammed and didn't extend all the way. But why aren't there any stars? Like, they're in space. You'd be able to see the stars. Yeah, it's called being on the daylight side of the moon. You know the side that faces the sun? Otherwise, they wouldn't see anything. If they took the focus off the surface and tried to point it at the stars, this is what it would look like. Do you think anybody That's true. to see that? But just in case common sense isn't good enough for you, the lunar module is literally still there and people take pictures of it all the time. That's hilarious. He was just like, come on, look at that. He was like, look at that picture. You really think anyone wants to see that? <laughs> <laughs> that's true okay so the conspiracy theory about if we went on the moon or not i've been hearing this one for quite a while actually this was actually pretty interesting to me so apparently stanley kubrick right who was the director of like the movie 2001 space odyssey who also did the shining which at first people didn't like and now it became pretty much a cult classic everybody said that kubrick i guess you could say he had a little bit of work when it came to also doing this conspiracy theory because of the fact that for one at the time when we were trying to go to the moon right there was a lot of problems I'm telling you, watch almost any movie of them trying to recreate NASA, trying to show the progress of them going to the moon. It was nothing but failures. I, I remember that. NASA was trying to beat, I believe it was Russia to the moon. They were having a race. And NASA was just having nothing but problems one after the other until suddenly we were able to just go ahead and finally make it up there, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I know there's a lot of details that I'm probably missing. I'm just trying to give you guys the short version, by the way. But basically, we go to the moon. It was one of America's biggest recorded events 
despite all the issues that were going on. But people have been speculating also that because of the fact that we were making so many errors and that we were just running out of time because Russia was just getting there and of all the times to talk about Russia. Oh my goodness. People are saying that America was so desperate to try to be Russia at the time that they staged it. People are all looking at the facts. People are looking at pictures. People are looking at, obviously as you saw this guy debunking, you know, the suit. And he has a good point. If you had over a million people working on a project and like maybe 40, 50 years passed by and they're old. Yeah, he's right. They would have said something by now, right? Nobody would have kept that secret a secret for so long. And what's even more funny is that I remember originally NASA was actually exploring the ocean. That was really their company. They were all about exploring the oceans at first and then they switched it to going into space. I think that was a conspiracy video, by the way. I'll have to find it if I can. But okay, on to the next one. Oh, look at this one. They really said we need a blood sample. The hell does that mean? Okay. Vicky exposed an influencer and the Illuminati. We know and love Will Vicky. She called a celebrity out that we all know, and this is what she had to say. It was a big influence party. Should I say a name? It was better throw a party. Yeah, you can't bring your phone in. I'm not, first of all, who ain't bringing their phone in? I'm bringing my phone <laughs> Exactly, yeah. And then, that's some papers. What about signing some shit for the kids to a party? Like, what? Yeah, no, okay. I don't want to let me do shit like that. <laughs> and then, this is where it really threw me off. They said they had to drink your blood to get in. I said, oh, no, I'm good. Everyone else went, I said, the car my husband left. So, one, she called that Bella Thorne, which is crazy. Look, she's doing the, she's doing the hand thing. Look at look at this bitch. Look look, look at her. Look look at her. Look. Okay, for those of you guys that don't know, right? In Satanism, if you see anybody who's a Satan worshiper, right? They're doing she's doing two things actually that I learned of. You see her face? That ugly face? She's doing literally the mocking tongue. And then look at her hands. She's doing the, the the horn reference, right? Any celebrity that's caught doing, you know, I don't want to do it, but you know, you know, that hand gesture that's showing their devotion to to this. That's what's so crazy about it. And don't get me wrong, some people are saying, well, no, that's not necessarily true. You know, like it's supposed to represent like rock and roll and everything. And I'm like, yeah, but look at her hands. Look how her main finger and her pinky are towards the side. If you're doing the rock and roll sign doing this, hell yeah. But if you're I'm not gonna do it, but like if you're spreading it out, that's the you know the horn yeah man there's a lot of stuff being slipped on by the way now this video in general right just forgetting about her so apparently this party if you want to get into it from what she said you have to give up your phone you have to basically <laughs> You have to sign paperwork. Who the hell signs a paperwork to get into a party? It's like the opposite of you going to a club. You actually have the bodyguard with the clipboard, by the way, saying if you're on the list. No, you have to sign to get on. And then they want a sample of your blood? What the fuck? That's crazy. And you know what? Despite the fact that, and not trying to be rude, but the fact that this person right here, right, kind of comes off like a little bit of an idiot, right? She does come off kind of dumb, but she is smart. You know, like if you know something is a requirement like that, you wouldn't want to attend. I would not attend something. Something like that. And immediately, if somebody was like, hey, give me your phone, sign this in your blood. I'd be like, the fuck my blood? You can suck a dick. Uh, but yeah, so don't, ladies and gentlemen, please don't, don't do that. It, it's not, it's not worth it. Trust me. Okay, conspiracy vibe number three. Let's find another one. Walsh Vicky exposed the Illuminati. Ooh, okay. Let's, let's check out this one. Well, we need to talk about this. Okay, so if you don't know who Will Vicky is, she's a female rapper slash influencer. Oh, is that the one we just watched? Her, she is always spilling the truth. And she recently did this interview exposing how the Illuminati tries to get these celebrities to join them at influencer parties and, and just watch. If you're in the industry, the devil, the devil, they, like Illuminati, all that shit, they try to get you. They invite you to these parties, these house parties. Let me tell you an experience I went through personally. So I was with some friends in LA and it was this big influencer party. Should I say a name? It was Bella Thorne party. I just love how she says that. Like, should I say it? I'll say it. Fuck it. I'll say it. I'm bringing my motherfucking phone in. I don't give a fuck. And then you gotta sign some papers. What about signing some shit for to get into a party? Like, what? Yeah. And then this is where it really threw me off. They said they had to prick your blood to get in. I said, oh, no, I'm good. Everyone else went, I called my home and left. Uh, yep, yeah, you heard that right. At Bella Thorne's Halloween party last year, they pricked all of their celebrity guests' blood and stored them away. 
And if you didn't know, this is a tactic that many suspect the Illuminati use. They steal their victims' blood and they force them to join them. Not to mention, many people believe that Bella Thorne is a member of the Illuminati and this was her party, so it makes sense she was trying to lure them in to join her. Right. Just look at this photo. Yeah, the eye, this is man. photo where she literally is doing the Illuminati sign of the devil. What? And let's not forget that this specific party was on Halloween, aka the devil's holiday. Let me know what y'all think, and as always, that is today's conspiracy tea. But that's crazy, though, guys. Seriously, you gotta be careful out there when it comes to going to Hollywood. Ooh, here's one. Beyonce was caught getting possessed? What the hell? Okay, let me check, let me check this one. Let me check this one. We need to talk about this. So one of the biggest conspiracies, as you may know, is that Beyonce is somehow connected to the devil. The rumors really took well, off a couple she, years ago when she She's married to Jay-Z. And everyone knows Jay-Z's involved in that shit because he's always doing the triangle sign. Everybody should know that. There's no fucking way you're not going to listen to Jay-Z and not know about this, okay? Everybody knows that. And then they got a kid, and I think I heard something about their kid being named after something like that. So it's it, it's crazy. It's crazy. The Illuminati sign during a performance. And then when she posted this clip to start her lemonade era. I threw myself into a volcano. I drank the blood and drank the wine. I sat alone and begged and bent at the waist for God. I crossed myself and thought... I saw the devil. Ah! So many think that she potentially sold her soul to the devil for fame, but there's a whole theory that she is actually possessed by the devil himself. And I thought that was crazy until I saw this video that's been going viral. Just watch. Hey, oh, yo. Let me just slow down that. I saw that. I saw that. Wait for it. Look. Ah! What the is fuck is that? Yeah. yeah. It looks like there's someone taking control of her body. Like, that is not her normal face. Let me know what y'all think, and that's the conspiracy. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Nope. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna pull a Chris Pratt. I am. I refuse to be a part of that shit. I stand as a Buddhist and I stand as a Catholic always. Uh, I have my my issues, but you know I stand on that all the time. Well, did you see her eyes? Did you guys see her freaking eyes? That's just crazy. Oh man, the the, the things that these people do. It's not that serious, you guys. It's not that serious. Come on now, man. Like if you want to get famous, work your ass off for it, man. Just work your ass off. Stop taking shortcuts. Facts about the moon. Ooh. Forever. Now remember, these aren't highly possible theories, but pure scientific and mathematical facts. Number one, the same side of the moon faces us at all times. This means that the side that is dark is always dark, and the side that is light is always light. So truly, we don't know what's on the dark side of the moon. Number two, it okay. is the exact same size precisely as the sun in the sky, not bigger or smaller, which is actually like a one in a million chance of happening in our galaxy. And number three, this one is really surprising. Scientists everywhere are now saying, mathematically, it has to be hollow. And this is after trying to prove that what? the hollow theory of the moon is wrong. In declassified documents, NASA reports doing a test on the lunar surface by crash landing on it, and they reported a bell noise happening for over an hour and a half. Scientists are saying for this to happen naturally is literally a trillion and one. Not to mention that a planetary body being hollow is literally impossible. They still can't even explain how it was made, only theories. Right. Let's not all forget, astral projectors, private astronomers, and astronauts all report seeing weird stuff while observing or going there. Scientists that study the moon are now all coming out and saying this thing has to be artificial. But anyhow this gets released, People are going to start asking who made it, and that's going to cause extraterrestrial life to be well known, which will cause elites to lose their power. I think it's time humans start becoming more intelligent and questioning their reality instead of living blindly like how the elites want them to. When you become more intelligent, it's not just you that wins, we all as a collective win. Stop fighting each other, stop getting drunk every night, okay. and start seeking education. Facts, ladies and gentlemen. Facts. Hear his words. Please hear his words, all right? Stop getting drunk. Stop getting drunk. Stop fucking getting high, all right? Fucking get smarter or work harder, okay? That's literally what he's trying to say. Now, my thoughts on the moon being hollow. I don't know about that. Like, is it possible for the moon to be hollow? I, I don't... How many times have you gone to the moon? Uh, was it about... Sorry, I was thinking 18, right? Because for all of you that don't know, if you haven't ever seen that horror movie, Apollo 18, about those astronauts that go to the moon, right? 
right? And then like they're kind of like stranded there, right? And then it turns out that like there's these little alien bugs on the on the moon. I remember I went to the movie theater with my friends. We saw that it was a fake movie. I, 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 no, I don't think that was real, right? Like I don't know. But yeah, for the moon to be hollow, I don't know, man. Like the moon's been around for freaking ever. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think it would really be like a machine the way how it looks like, right? And, like it has to be just a solid rock. But they prove that it's hollow. Well, I, I don't I don't know. This is this is kind of tricky. Whoa, this is this is interesting. Okay. The, scar the scariest conspiracy theories part seven. Okay. The scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. So as we know, this right here shows all of the world's scariest conspiracy theories. As I'm sure you know, in this series we'll be going through from the least scary to the ones that will literally change your life. So once again, if you're easily scared, do not watch this video, just keep on scrolling, trust me. Now with that said, let's kick off part 7. Stuff is about to get mental. Right, so this one is to do with NASA, I mean, pretty obvious. Now of course we all know NASA, big space company. Well, actually I don't think you do. So what you probably didn't realize was that NASA actually started out by looking into the oceans and exploring. Yeah, uh, exactly, they see? Had nothing to do with space. Because you know only 3 to 4% of the oceans have been discovered, so they wanted to explore it. But right. But they would make it mental. So now of course. 5% now, but. Space space company, so what happened? Well, literally overnight they went from exploring our Earth and the oceans to exploring space and wanting to get us all off of Earth as quickly as possible. So what the hell did they see during their investigations in the ocean that made them want to get us off of the Earth? Now make sure you hit that follow button because, I mean, stuff's only going to get crazier. That's it! Man! <sighs> I hate it when they do that. Like they, they get something really good and then they fucking block halfway. A, a huge secret of the music industry. Ah, uh, the music industry. There's always something going on there. We need to talk about this. Okay, so we all know that a lot of famous singers are heavily auto-tuned. Yeah. And there's a lot of artists like Miss Mariah Carey who rely on this auto-tune to sound good. Like, Make my wish come true. Case in point. Well, a lot of your favorite singers' voices are actually pitched up. And the most dramatic case of this is Miss Britney Spears. This is what she posted on Instagram a few Always years something ago. with Britney. And this is it pitched down. Very clearly they pitch her voice up. Which means a lot of songs on your favorite playlist aren't actually the artist's real voices. Speaking of playlists, I recently came across this app called Ox. The cool thing about this app is you can make playlists with your friends and listen to them together in the lobby. I mainly listen to this one with my friends and this with artists that don't use auto-tune. You can literally listen to anyone's playlist who's nearby. So go download it and that is today's conspiracy. Tea. I don't know about y'all, but every time something comes up with Britney, right, there's always some drama. I don't know why. Like, Britney's been through a lot. I, and recently, she actually got out of her of her contract. That shitty contract worked for her family, actually, which is good for her. Good for her. She actually got out of that. Oh, what do you think happened here? All right, let's see what that is. Plunge to the ground in Mexico. It happened earlier this month. I want to warn you, the video you're about to see is graphic. It's fucked. The video's chilling, too. It shows the yellow-headed blackbird suddenly fall from the sky. <laughs> Many of them died, others did fly away, and the reason behind their rapid plunge remains unclear. Yo! What the hell was that? They all fell in the exact same time! If I was to guess, something was released in the air. Something was released in the air. I don't know what. But something had had to have been released in order for those birds to have all have fallen down and gotten affected. Obviously, I think those birds, some of the birds died on impact. But that's just crazy. You always see birds travel in packs. I've never seen birds fall like that. That's, that's actually something different. Whoa. Well, first, with that said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for me reacting to Conspiracy Theories Part 1. I will, I'll, of course, love to do a Part 2 later on. Thank you so much, birds. So take them time to watch this video if you guys like what you saw do me a favor hit the like button subscribe and hit that notification for more content as always you know i'm happy to give you guys more content right here trying to do more for you guys trying to do some other stuff but thank, yeah, thank you so much for your guys' time i'm not gonna lie i got a little creeped out there are some things here that i was just like wait what there's some things that i already knew and there were some things that i didn't know for sure this one was definitely about the moon definitely about how the music industry is seriously the music industry can be uh it, it's something i think maybe i should do a reaction video kind of reacting to some certain rap on how they were before and after because I've seen some stuff where I was like, whoa, that's a change. Help me reach my first 100 subscribers verse. I really appreciate it. And look forward to the next video verse. Laters.